Get 21 lessons with Kaja. You already know what it is. Pull a chair, sit down, come learn some. You already know what it is. Yay! Oh my god! Hey you, it's Kaja back for another video. If you are just now tuning in, I just want to let you know what I've been doing. I'll be turning 21 within a few days. And so these past two weeks, I've been short of sharing 21 lessons that I've learned within my 21 years of life. And so today, the lesson that I want to share um, that I'm still yet learning um, is insecurities and unlearning self-hate. So like many people, there are some things about myself that I'm not too crazy about. I remember being super young and I used to always wish that I was taller or that my hair was less curly or that, you know, I didn't wear glasses or just different things on a different day. Things that I just didn't like about myself. And it got to a point where even throughout the years, every time I thought of myself, I thought about the negative. I thought about those things that I didn't like. It even got to the point where it was difficult for me to accept compliments from people. Like people could be like, oh, I love your hair or oh, you're so pretty. And it just felt so weird for me to take it. It's like I couldn't accept it. Now I'm getting to a point in my life where I accept compliments. But even still, God has placed me in this sort of space where it's like I'm constantly being around people who just always just, you're so this, you're so that, you're so blah, 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 who are always so nice to me. And I'm like, how did I deserve, like, I don't deserve this love. Like, this is crazy. And even now, I think that maybe it's something that God is trying to sort of cultivate in me. Just the, you know, self-love that I need to, you know, sort of develop for myself because I realize um, that that's something else that I really need to work on. Over the past few years, even, the Lord has been giving me like a series of dreams and they all mean the same thing. And it just sort of talks about my insecurities and my self-perception a lot and different things like that. And so another thing my parents have been telling me is just like, Taja, like, you know what you got to do. You know that, you know, you have to work on how you see yourself and you need to be okay with it like you know you're not gonna always think that you're this or that but you need to get to a place where you are okay with who you are and that you love yourself and so I'm still on that journey you know it gets really difficult because you know some days you wake up you look in the mirror you're like eh. you know like you're just like oh my gosh lord like really really lord am I not one of your favorite no I'm just saying. <laughs> some days you're just like lord like I just you know, but I'm getting to a place now where I'm trying to, every time I get a bad thought of myself, shun it down at the door. Every time I hear, you're not smart enough. You're not pretty enough. You're not tall enough. You're not this enough. You're not that enough. I, I've been trying to push it out. And I've actually been making some progress. And so that's just my lesson that I've learned about my insecurities, not letting them win. My insecurities, not letting them beat me down. Make me stay in the bed all day. But, you know, just working hard to just accept who I am and love that. 